Number 249 in the Masters of Cinema series is The Hands of Orlac. This 1924 silent movie which has a familiar premise. Uh, this is a horror, thriller, mystery movie with some wonderful storytelling conceits throughout. Now, it's all about this pianist, uh, or Orlac, who in a train accident at the start, which is a rather lavish production and really interestingly well shot, uh, lots of destruction, a great opening scene in fact that I was really impressed by. Um, we find that uh, Orlac has been injured uh, within this accident and as being a wonderful and renowned pianist has lost his hands. There's also the side story of a murderer who is being put to death. So we have uh, an opportunity here for a doctor to do a transplant, to swap the hands of this murderer and put them on to Orlock. And everything seems fine, his love is there, uh, they're kind of rekindling their romance until one night he has this rather lucid nightmare and it opens up to a wonderful scene where uh, the camera really, really pans out from this room, he's in his hospital bed, the killer's face looms over him and this large destructive hand pushes in from the side of the screen as if to crush Orlac and he finds a note on his bed saying that his hands were once belonged to a serial killer. And that kind of puts the fear of God into Orlac himself as he starts to uh, be terrified that the hands will have taken on a life of their own and kill people. And he starts to become more and more paranoid and terrified throughout the movie. Conrad Veet is utterly captivating in this. I really appreciate this actor more and more uh, the way I see him. His uh, vein-throbbing head is just filled with tension uh, and looks as if it's ready to explode almost Scanner-esque throughout the movie as he comes to terms with the horror that he is living through. There is this almost a constant threat of this killer looming over Orlac almost encouraging him like some spiritual ghostly figure telling him to kill. There seems to be elements or items from this killer's life appearing throughout Orlac's world as he is terrified that when he is unaware the hands are doing something nefarious. And of course there is murder, there is the main suspect of Orlock and there is a mysteriously strange and shadowy figure who seems to haunt Orlock, warning him to be aware and stalking him and it's a wonderfully strange and kind of a uh, haunting performance from that actor whose name I cannot remember at the moment, forgive me for that, but he uh, is particularly brilliant as the kind of visage of the murderer who is haunting Orlac's dreams. And what I really liked about this one particularly was the awesome, uh, haunting and uh, really freaky score. It was one of those scores that really sets the mood perfectly well for this one. Now, excuse me a second, it was by Johannes uh, Kalitsky and it was fantastic. I, I found it really kind of uh, unsettling a lot of the time while watching this. There is some great expressionistic moments in this one, lots of shadows, lots of light uh, in contrasting scenes. Um, there is some wonderful set design as well, particularly when you go to see Orlac's father, who is a kind of miser, and his house is just completely sparse of everything. This man doesn't own or spend any kind of money. He just hoards and you get that from him. Very Ebenezer Scrooge-like character. The, the romance at the start between his wife uh, or his girlfriend and Orlac is one that becomes strained throughout the movie because he can no longer work. He can no longer play the piano uh, and he uh, is suddenly starting to mount up debts as well. Uh, the Hands of Orlac is one of those really effective horror thrillers and I will put it in the horror category because I felt as if it was steeped in atmosphere throughout the movie. Big part to the music and a big part to the expressionism that's on show here as well. I think Viet gives an absolute masterful performance in some key moments as well. Um, it's particularly one with 
uh, a blade where he starts to go in in a frenzy, a stabbing frenzy in, in thin air in a room himself and kind of loses control of himself. It's one of those wonderful sequences that comes out of nowhere. And I really love uh, the, the idea of the mystery at the heart of this, which, to be honest, I didn't feel was a complete surprise, but it didn't detract anything from my enjoyment of the movie. And I'm not going to go into that because, hey, spoilers, not ruining the movie for you. But I, I was really impressed a lot by Orlac with its opening train sequence, with some of its weird and imaginative imagery that it conducts, the brilliant score and performances. It was a real treat of a movie. I, I hope you like The Hands of Orlac as much as I did. Available now and uh, yeah, highly recommended. Love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time. Man V Film.